say a big old Lithuanian labas. Is that? Labas, labas. Labas, labas <laughs> to Monica. Welcome to our Eurovision hub. Thank you. Glorious in green. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, Eurovision, I mean, look, you already have a history. How surreal and how exciting is it to be here eight years later? Because you first came here in 2015, right? Yes, I did, but I think I'm falling in love. Uh, <laughs> this time it's uh, really different for me um, because, first of all, I wrote this song with, with my friend Chris. Um, and last, uh, last time I was here, um, I wasn't the, the, the writer of the song. Um, also, I think that eight years just, they changed me a little bit. Um, I think that I'm now just like more grown up person and uh, I spend loads of uh, time and energy to find out myself and to connect with my heart. And I feel excited and I think that I'm enjoying every single moment. And that's the most beautiful thing I, I guess. Do you feel more confident on stage now? Yes I do I mean because all these eight years I was you know performing and I was studying in London and music and I was just writing music all that experience of course it just gives you much more confidence. Uh, talk to me about studying in the UK um, how would you say that's changed you as an artist? A lot yeah, a lot. I think it's it changed me a lot because uh, you know music industry in UK it's much more bigger. You know, I'm now I'm really enjoying to put some gospel music in my music, uh, this and that. And without London, I wouldn't do that. So yeah, ch changed your ear. <laughs> yes, definitely, definitely. And talk to me about rehearsal because you know stepping out onto that stage, making sure your performance is just right. What was um, that feeling like of you know really taking in the space because it's such an amazing arena. Every single single day I'm just enjoying everything and yeah I want to spread that you know good energy good vibes and I think that people should just enjoy life uh, as I am enjoying mine at, at this point so so yeah. Uh, so let's talk about this song Stay. Yeah. Um, now you said a lot of it's sort of like deep rooted in sort of like folklore and stuff like that how did the song kind of come to you? Yeah, I had three weeks to write a song. Uh, I came back from London and in one evening we wrote the song. Yeah, it just it just happened. And I think that I'm an example, even to myself, that when I'm not forcing every, anything, but I'm just like listening to the opportunities and listening what life is offering for me at, at this moment and just like flowing with that life. And this is what my song is about, you know, that's, a folk um, phrase "chuta tuto" is um, you can't translate it, but um, how do you say it again? Chuta. Chuto. Tuto. Chuta tuto. Yes, <laughs> this is like some kind of Lithuanian spells, because uh, uh, two, three hundred years ago, Lithuanians they were doing they they were yeah doing some kind of rituals. They were standing in a circle and they were singing these kind of phrases, and that was giving the power to come back to themselves, to connect with themselves, and to connect with the, the, the their hearts, and then live more with more of wisdom you know, lighted life. And you're not getting a great song out of it. We stay. Um, I have some questions from your fans. Are you ready? Yes. OK. So Elma on Twitter says, uh, what is your favourite part of Stay? What is the bit of it that makes you think, oh, this is amazing when you get to sing it? There are two, basically, because I love, uh, I love how my voice sounds on Stay. And I love to sing it. I like. I love those high no high notes. We love them too. <laughs> uh, and of course, I love Chuta Tuta part because everyone is singing with me, and and because I know how powerful is that, like how much energy it can give, and and because I think that this is what can heal you, like me as a person, that power. Um, and I think that Europe at this point we can see that it needs some healing as well. Um, so, so yeah, I love that part. Well, it sounds beautiful. And yes, healing always. Um, hello to Marianne on Twitter who says, what's been your biggest challenge as an artist to prepare for this? To deal with myself. Because <laughs> I'm always having those doubts. I'm always dealing with the feeling that I'm not enough or that maybe it's not perfect and these things is always, you know, giving some hard times, but uh, I'm quite uh, good, I'm quite healed. 
Let, and you hear? And yes. you are enough, Monica. I know. You are enough. Everyone is enough. That's it. Um, are you ready to play a game? Yes. OK, let's, let's get to it. We're going to play Sounds of Harmonica because your musical talent is what it is. You're going to play some of these songs. I'm going to guess them. And I'm confident I'm going to do all right because I believe in your talent. Are you ready? Well, I'm not. <laughs> well, I'm not so much, but yeah, let's try it. OK. OK. Single ladies, Beyonce. It's Beyonce, but not single ladies. Ooh. Formation. Almost, but no. Oh, sorry. No. Oh, God. it's more about girl power. Who run the world? Yeah. Ah. Uh, Who run the, the world? world? Okay. Girl. Okay. Girl. Got it. Got it. Okay. <laughs> no. The movies come in. Barbie girl, Aqua. Yeah. Yes. OK, fab. <laughs> you, you should try. I'll tell you what, no. I'll hold it for you. Yeah. Is there another instrument that you'd like? Uh, ukulele, please. OK, Eurovision gods. Oh, look, there you go. Whoop. Whitney Houston. I want to dance with somebody. Somebody with somebody who loves me. Yeah. Fabulous. Thank you. Monica, you thank you so much. <laughs>